funny Juan. Under the spreading tamarind tree lay Juan, hat over his head. He had slept the whole morning. Juan, where are you? Sleeping again. You are the laziest boy I've ever seen. You sleep the morning away while your father works hard in the field. What shall I do with you? Still yawning, Juan got up, rubbed his eyes, and stretched his arms lazily. Mother met Juan at the door. Go to the market and buy some salt and five live crabs. Don't play on the way and come home quickly. Juan took the money and was soon on his way. Reaching the market, he saw an old woman selling crabs. He picked up a long stick and poked at the crabs. Hey, what are you doing with my crabs? I am trying to see if they are alive. Please give me five big crawling ones. After getting the crabs tied together, Juan moved on to a man selling salt. If your salt is really salty, then give me fifty centavos worth. With the crabs and a small bag of salt, Juan started for home. Whistling, he passed by the river bank. Suddenly, he heard some voices calling him. Juan, come play with us. Isn't it a nice day to have fun? Mother needs these, but I have an idea. Mother is waiting for you, so go home. Go straight on this road and turn left at the big tamarind tree. You will see the open kitchen door where Mother is. Go, go. Then he looked around for a safe place for the salt. Finally, he put the bag in the river where the water was very shallow. Here, he said to himself, "Now nobody will walk away with it." In no time, Juan was with his friends playing and shouting to his heart's content. He remembered to go home only when the sun began to set. Juan's mother stood by the tamarind tree, waiting for her lazy son. What have you to say? Somebody stole the salt. Stole the salt? What do you mean? Well, I had kept it in a very safe place under the water, and when I went to fetch it, it just wasn't there. And what about the crabs? Didn't they come home? Well, I explained the directions. To the house, very clearly, they did look intelligent, and of course, they were alive, so they could walk. Juan's mother shook with anger. She couldn't say a word. She just turned her back and hurriedly went inside the kitchen, slamming the door behind her. Juan was left standing alone and wondering what had gone wrong.